a rapid fire drill that helps us with coming to balance what a lot of people call trail technique. Most of the coaches have seen this alignment. This is the gentleman who was on the punt return team who just now made contact driving his player back. Now what has happened is the defender has released the cover guy on the kick and he is now going to head down the field. Most of them will stay in the lane for a good period of time. If you're going to notice now, this guy will be ahead of step. What happens generally in the game, this gentleman will take off, and we do not want to see any patty caking or touching this guy. A lot of guys want to whack him before the optimum time for the block. What's going to happen is coach is going to flip this guy the ball now. Okay? Now that defender has got to eventually turn in to go get the ball carrier and we have our eyes trying to ride this guy out. We have our eyes on that defender. Now the returner will come up the middle. When you look at this drill, we're going to do it from the right and the left. It helps our returners also understand about where the tunnel is and we talk about creating a tunnel with our hips and backside in order to get the returner a nice clear path up the middle of the field. I have them nice and wide now so we don't run ourselves together and then we're going to make this a little bit tighter. Okay gentlemen let's execute the grill. drill on my go to the right and the left. Go! Good? Good. Let's bring that back. Okay. Let's bring that back while we're getting a new returner. If you guys want to flip around, and let's come in about another two yards. Now that they saw it, the general spacing of the drill. Okay, both sides have got to go. Come in two yards to me. Come on, keep coming. Make this tighter now. Okay, remember now, the gentleman that's actually doing the blocking for the returner is not going to make contact until that returner gets his eyes going towards the punter. Now he knows that the tackle is imminent. Set, hit. Turn it in, now get in front, ride him out. Ride him out, good. Okay, now what I want to do is the gentleman to stop right about here. Doesn't matter, you guys could switch on the fly, okay. And you need to always worry about worst case scenarios. Sometimes, when this guy is the blocker, this guy wants to slow down and this guy beats him down the field. What this drill is going to teach now is called retrace. So now this guy has passed me, he's cutting underneath me, and I could do one of two things. Most of my D-backs that are in this situation are now going to speed turn with their head and they're going to try to take this guy and now what we tell is to tell the gentleman is to get his body across the field. Remember now if you watched our return he is eyeballing all of this. He's seeing the ball come down he's not taking off and he's actually trying to set the block. Because remember, even if it's a middle return and ride that guy across me, he can now take one step and the rest of the tunnel might be still in the same place based because all the other guys didn't have to worry about a retrace. Let's take a look at this drill in a retrace situation. Let's start from the beginning, man, and let's make sure that the one guy gets ahead of the other. Set. Hit. Okay, work hard, work hard. He gets ahead, he comes to retrace, come to balance. Good. Now, when we do this drill, we generally don't do it from the right and the left. We do retrace on one side, the other guy stays normal to help teach the proper tunnel for the returner. But for our drill today, just to show you how it occurs on the right and left side, we did both. And we're going to do it one more time again so everybody can see that. All right, gentlemen, retrace. Set. Hit. Good. That's good. Ride them out. If you can get your body across, that's, that's fabulous. 